Alright guys, we gotta get the show on the road here. I wanna get this F-16 off the ground. This base is about to come under attack. We have multiple J-10s coming in and we gotta scramble. And uh, right, there's the artillery falling now. Pretty spicy. Oh, that was right where I was. Just exploded. Lots of already coming down here. Lots and lots of already. It'd be real nice if I could actually make it to the runway without getting blown up by an artillery shell. Arguably, blowing me up on the ground is one of the best opportunities they have for killing the F-16. Because once I get this thing into the air, she's going to become an absolute animal. And we're going to defend this base against whatever they throw at it. And we're going to do our best anyway, but your best chance at wrapping this up right now is to kill this F-16 right on the ground here. <laughs> and you guys know we've showed off in the past how good this thing is once you uh, really you know, get her fast and start using the data link and the AMRAMs, this thing's unkillable. Be pretty funny here, like right as I get to like rotate speed and artillery shell lands on my head. <laughs> that would be just my luck, man. Alright, and rotate. There we go. We are off the ground. Let's get everything set up here. You can see on data link, we already can see everybody coming in. We got a J10 on. I'm going to engage the furthest right guy first. Take care of that problem first. It looks like he's about angels 20. And I might have a little too much bar, so we'll drop that down to two bars. And hopefully we can pick him up here because he's getting pretty close. I do really need this one to hit, so we're gonna start climbing, increase the probability of kill. There we go, we got him uh, locked up now at 21 miles, master arm on. 19 miles, 18. He looks like the outlier on the right, so we'll kill him first. You gotta sort the threats by priority, right? And Angel's 20 is pretty dangerous, so we're gonna go ahead and kill this guy here. 14, 13 miles, Fox 3, and we're defending. Okay, looks like he returned the favor with a Fox 3 of his own. Gonna defend here. And come very close to hitting the ground, but we're fine. Beautiful. Three other guys to sort out here. And that guy's going to be dead momentarily. Yeah, he just fell off data link, so he's gone. Uh, going to call that a splash. And we're going to go ahead and recommit onto these bandits. want to pick them up at a gimbal lock. That would be real nice, just on the edge of my radar screen. I don't want to commit fully nose hot, because I'm going to have to turn around and run real quick. So there we go. We got this guy, closest guy, 11 miles. Or sorry, 11,000 feet at 10 miles. Fox 3 and we're defending. A 
Okay, they fired at me as well, of course. That was to be expected. But the sheer speed of the F-16 is going to allow me to turn around and run away as fast as I can. And those missiles theoretically shouldn't hit me. Now, if that guy didn't go cold, he's dead for sure. It's the only way he could have survived that. So we're going to go ahead and recommit here. And we still have three guys on data link. It looks like. And... Oh, one of them went off. So he's dead. <laughs> so we killed the last guy we shot at. We'll pick up this guy, Angels 14 at 9 miles, Fox 3. Okay, once we kill this last guy, it's 1v1, and it shouldn't be too hard from there. We're going to continue cold. We are running from what I believe to be multiple Fox 3s at this point. Okay, Fox 3 is defeated. We're going to pull up, drop tanks, and we'll go ahead and recommit here. And I believe we're down... Oh, another missile. Never mind. I was going to say I think we killed everybody. We just got one guy left, and that's not the case, it seems like. They just fired another missile at me. Or it could have been one of the old missiles just reacquiring. Data link there's, says there's only one guy left, so I guess we killed three so far. We'll go ahead and recommit, try to kill this last guy. It's going to be real tight, though. Going to be really, really close. 11 miles, oh, 6 miles, Fox 3. That's going to be a super tight one. It's just so close that I'm gonna have to defend behind this mountain in case he fired a Fox 3 at me. Try to terrain mask as little as I can. No RWR notification, so I think we're clean. I'm down to Fox 2s only. All Fox 3s have been fired. Which means if there's anybody out there, we're going to the merge. And I don't see anybody. We got a fire down there. Somebody died over there. RWR is clean. Data link is clean. I think we got everybody. Yeah, I think we killed everybody. That's why the F-16 is amazing, man. This thing can scramble and kill four guys <laughs> immediately. <laughs> what an absolute animal this thing is. And we're just going to go ahead and land a straight in. Right from takeoff, kill four guys, turn around and land. No problem for the F-16.
Okay, quick little tag view review here, guys. We have our four J17s. We got like two of them over here, one, one. So they've split up and uh, don't really want to talk about too much. Just want to, you know, show how it happened, how it played out just for everyone's situational awareness. We have the J, uh, J10 firing first. F16 kills that guy really easily. That one was always easy uh, because he was such an outlier just by himself. But the three guys here together... Um, I think maybe the intention there was like that why that guy was going to be the flanker. So like they were expecting the, you know, main fight to happen between these three guys. And then while the F-16 was busy with these three guys, this guy could come up and flank them. But unfortunately um, for them, he is killed right there. And so their flanker guy is gone. And so this is there's only like one real major concept I want to touch on in this video. And that's just this concept of not necessarily committing all the way nose hot onto the bandit. Um, you can use the gimbal limit. So, you know, launch a missile instead of coming nose hot and shooting a missile. You could continue in this direction. Slide your radar over. Get a lock, right? And, you know, again, your radar is at the gimbal. So you've pushed it over to the screen. So if you remember the radar screen that I had. Um, we had the cursor, right? This is your little cursor. You slide that over all the way to this side, to this half of the screen, and you lock up your bandit and you keep them on this side, right? So you don't crank them into the middle. You leave them on the side here, maybe even further. Maybe you can even, you know, pull your jet further left, drag the bandit, put them right on the edge here, right? And so you've got them at the gimbal and then you fire your missile, your AMRAM, and then you turn away, right? So you have much less distance to turn away. Consider how much easier you can get out of uh, a dangerous situation when you don't have to turn all of this degrees to get away, right? Imagine your advantage when, you know, you're facing this way and you only have to turn this much, right? That's huge. And the missile will do the rest of the work. You know, the AMRAM is capable of doing the turn and hitting the target by itself. Of course, you have to be uh, within the correct distance. I recommend doing something like this, especially on the deck. Um, maybe anywhere between nine to, you know, eight, eight to 10, even 10 is a little much because, you know, 10 is nose hot mar. Um, but if you have a slight aspect like this, you know, you, I, I think I've gotten away with seven miles doing this kind of thing. Again, your F-16 has to be tremendously fast as well. Speed always matters. So this is the one, and we've talked about this in the past. I just, you know, I like to touch on this point. You don't have to necessarily go nose hot to get a missile off. Um, and this is a tactic I use a lot in this uh, situation here. As you can see, that missile hits that J-10. He's dead. Never really committing nose hot onto any of these guys, right? Right here is the same thing. And kills that guy. It's very simple. It really allows you to get a lot closer. And shoot. Unfortunately for this last guy too, he loses situational awareness it looks like. And just gets killed with that. And again, we're doing the gimbal launch, right? Because just in case he gets a missile off, I can run away faster. And he's dead too. So, um, the really the only nose hot shot I took in this entire fight was the first guy. It was that guy. And then it was gimbal, gimbal, gimbal. And that's it. And that's uh, one F-16 killing four J-10s. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.